What's up YouTube, it's David Taylor here with Robo13 and in this video I want to show you all of you how to download and install iOS 7 Beta 1 for free without a UDID registered uh, account. That means no developer account, you don't have to worry about that. Anybody can, can install this and get it working on their device fully activated. Uh, and it's completely free. So the first thing you want to do is install, I mean not install, you want to download two two different things, two different firmwares. You want to go to felixbruns, I'll have the link in the description, you want to go to this website first, then you want to go down to here and find your device's uh, firmware for 6.0 or 6.1.4 or 6.1.3. Now the iPhone 5 is going to be on 6.1.4, and I think the iPod Touch 5G as well. No, no, no. So the only device that's going to be on 6.1.4 is the iPhone 5. Every other device is on 6.1.3. So that's the iPod Touch 5, uh, the, the iPhone 4S, the iPhone 4. I think that might be it currently. I don't think that you can do the iPads just yet, but the iPad Mini, the iPad 3rd uh, Gen, and the iPad 4th Gen will be supported with iOS 7 as well, hopefully uh, pretty soon. So currently you can only do the iPhone, the iPhones uh, from iPhone 4 to iPhone 5 and the iPod Touch 5th generation. So uh, again, you're going to get the 6.1.4 for the iPhone 5 or the 6.1.3 for all the other devices. You also want to make sure you're getting either CDMA or GSM if you're using the iPhone. You want to make sure you're using the correct one, otherwise it's not going to work. So you download 6.1.4 or 6.1.3, your firmware, uh, from here. And then you want to go to this uh, website, which is going to be the actual iOS 7 Beta 1 download. I'll have two different links for this in case one goes down. Uh, but here you just download it again. You just click on one of these links and it'll start downloading immediately. And then you want to put those two uh, IPSWs if on your desktop. If they are saved as .dmg, all you have to do is rename it to .ipsw and then it works just perfectly fine. Uh, I hope you guys know how to do that because it's pretty simple. You literally just change the extension at the end to .ipsw and they'll switch to the correct uh, thing that you need. So after you get those two things, then you're basically good to go. You literally just plug in your device, go to iTunes, then you want to go over to this option right here where it says restore iPhone. You want to, if you're on a Mac, you want to hit option and click. And if you're on a PC, you want to hit shift and click. Since I'm on a Mac, I'm going to hit option and click on restore iPhone. It's going to pop up like this. Then you want to go to your desktop and select the iOS 6.1.4 or 6.1.3 firmware. Don't select the iOS 7 because it won't work yet. So you select the 6.1.4 or 6.1.3 firmware and let your phone restore to that. And then actually you want to make sure you're backed up before you do all this which I'm sure you guys all do, uh, either on iCloud or on your computer. That way you don't lose any of your stuff, all your apps and your contacts and all that kind of stuff. So you go in, you uh, restore back to 6.1.4 or 6.1.3. And when it says, do you want to set this up as a new device or restore from a backup? At the end of it, just say set up as a new device. Uh, just so it's it's a lot easier, you guys can then restore later, and I'll show you, I'll show you how to do that in a little bit. So after you get 6.1.4 or 6.1.3 on your device, fully restored and set up as a new device, then you want to plug your phone back in. It, it'll probably still be plugged in, so you want to go back to iTunes. Then you want to go up to check for update. This time, you want to uh, shift click or option click on check for update. And then when you do that, it'll bring up the same type of menu. And then you want to go select the actual iOS 7 beta 1 firmware this time. And this will actually update your phone to that. And you won't, it won't restore it, it or it will restore it, but it uses a different, a, a different way to do it. That way you don't have to be activated. So it will then update you to iOS 7. And then once you get to iOS 7, it will be fully activated. You don't have to worry about that. And then you can go back down to here where it says restore backup and click on that and then restore from the backup that you had before, which will then install all your contacts, all your emails, all that kind of stuff back on and you will still be on iOS 7. So don't worry about that. You can either do it through iCloud or uh, through iTunes and honestly both work perfectly fine. I like iCloud the best just because I don't really have to do anything and automatically starts downloading everything for me, but you can do it either way. Uh, or if you want to just do a completely clean install, you can do that as well. It doesn't really matter. Uh, but once you do that, you'll be fully activated on iOS 7 Beta 1. And the best part is that you can update to Beta 2 and Beta 3, however many betas there's going to be, uh, through the over-the-air updates, which they've been doing. Uh, you can update through that. It'll be activated. You don't have to worry about that stuff. Uh, yeah, and that's 
basically it. Uh, if you guys have any questions down below, or if you have any questions at all, let me know down below in the comments. I'll try to help you out as much as, as much as I can. Oh, and I did want to mention really quick that you actually can downgrade back to iOS 6. Uh, no issue at all. You will be, have to be on iOS 6.1.4 or 6.1.3, so this will get rid of your jailbreak, but you will be able to downgrade from iOS 7 all the way back to iOS 6 without any issues. I've seen a lot of people say that you can't do that. I don't know what they're talking about. You 100% can. I've done it multiple times on all my devices. Uh, you literally just go into iTunes, put your device into DFU mode, and then restore and it'll automatically put it back onto iOS 6.1.4 or 6.1.3. I just wanted to mention that so that everybody knows that you actually can downgrade from iOS 7 back to iOS 6. I mean, that's really it. It's really simple. They made it a lot easier now to uh, get past all that stuff. I don't know if they're really trying to stop anybody now. Uh, I do have a developer account. I did pay the 99 bucks a year or whatever, uh, so I don't really care because I can just do that through my own activation stuff. But this is to show you people how to... Uh, uh, do this without an account. Sorry if I'm being really slow. I'm extremely tired. It's five in the morning currently and I haven't slept yet. So I need to make this video, get it edited, uh, and have it uploaded for tomorrow. I will be having an iOS 7, a full recap of iOS 7 and a full overview of it on my iPhone 5 tomorrow up on my channel. So make sure you guys subscribe to Robo13 uh, just right down below. Hit that like button down below if you do. Uh, if you like this video because it helps me out a ton. It only takes you guys a second. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. Let me know if you have any questions, any concerns, anything, if you run into any problems, and I'll try to help you out. Uh, and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks, guys.